Hello, and welcome to WQLN PBS. I'm Miss Heather, and this is Twiggle. It's so good to see you again. Twiggle was playing with some ocean animals that we have in our classroom. Look at, we found a turtle, a sea turtle. And we also found, look at this, isn't that cool? It's a whale, huh? Look at this giant sea turtle, isn't that cool? It kind of looks like you, Twiggle. Look at, here's a dolphin. There's so many cool creatures that are in the ocean. Here's a walrus. Did you know that? It's a walrus, yeah, so amazing. We are going to read a story today about a bunch of creatures that are in the ocean. Do you wanna hear it? I think we should listen to the story first and then, oh, thank you. And then we are going to do a um, lesson today on syllables. It's gonna be really fun. Um, I'm going to go get my book ready and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I found my story. It's called A Swim Through the Sea. It's written and illustrated by Kristen Joy Pratt. She is the author and the illustrator. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those are beautiful. They look like Nemo, don't they? Let's read about them. Let's see what it is. It's gonna go through the alphabet, so let's see. What a swim through the sea, what number, le what letter A should be. Are you ready? Here we go. If Seymour the seahorse, who lives beneath the sea, one day went exploring, what do you think he'd see? Okay, here comes letter A. He'd admire an amiable angelfish and appealing apparel. How beautiful. And bump into blue crabs. That's the letter B. He could confront a crazy colored clownfish. C. And D, or discover a dozen delightful dolphins diving up and down. That's a lot of dolphins. He'd even encounter an exotic eel. That's for the letter E. The letter F, he'd find phosphorant flashlight fish. It has its own little light in them. That's amazing. G. He'd greet a, garan a Grantian grouper. That's a big word. Gladly getting groomed. That's a grouper. It's a big fish, isn't it? H, and hail a happily housed hermit crab hobbling along. He's so cute, isn't he? There's so many creatures in the sea. He'd inspect an interesting icon star. I, J, what do you think J would be? A creature in the ocean. And join a jet propelled jellyfish for a jolly jaunt. J is for jellyfish. K, ready for K? He'd keep a close eye on a creeping crimson kelp crab. L. And look at lots of lovely little limpets. Isn't there amazing, beautiful things in the ocean? I think so. M. Seymour might meet many munching manatees. They're so cute. N, he would notice a notable nautilus navigating through the nautical night. That's a cool one, isn't it? N. O, or ogle and og, odd looking octopus. Where is it? Oh, 
That's a cool looking octopus, isn't it? The next letter is P. Let's see what it is. He'd peer at a pokey puffed up porcupine fish. Look at his all his little prickles. I don't think they had any fish would bother them. They have a lot of spikies. Q and quickly peek at a quiet queen conch. That's a very big shell. Something probably pretty big is living in there. R. He'd rapidly recognize rays rippling around a reef. Those are stingrays, see them? S. And suddenly spy seven swaying sibling seahorses. S. T. Ooh. What do you think he found in the ocean that starts with T? Here's your hint. He'd tarry talking to a terrific tawny turtle. Twiggle, you're in the story. T. You and uncover uncumbered unusual urchins. You. Urchin. V, he'd view a violet snail, vigilant for victuals. Look at how beautiful. It's a beautiful shell. W, and he'd watch beneath whipping waves, a wise and wondrous whale. Look at that. They're so big. X. He would examine, uh, I hope Miss Heather can say this, Xiphosuron, exhibiting an excellent example of an echoskeleton. X, so many creatures. Y, yield to yards and yards of yellow fin tuna. And the last letter is what? Z. Let's see what he finds that starts with the letter Z. Ooh. And he'd zip away from a zapping zebra fish. Z. So Swimmy might back home on a bright sunny day. Seymour the seahorse would certainly say, I'm amazed at the beauty I've seen on the way and surely expect that that's the way it will stay. But it's going to take you and it's going to take me to keep it a beautiful, colorful sea. The end. Isn't that amazing? There are so many creatures. That's not even all the creatures that are in the sea. There are so many creatures that live in the sea. That was just some of them. Today, we are going to do syllables and it's going to be fun. If you have a couple of wooden spoons or a couple of pencils, and, or a couple sticks, we're going to um, hit them together and, and, and hit out the syllables of the words that were from this book today. I'm gonna go get my sticks and I will be right back. Look what I found. I found my sticks and in, in my class, we do um, syllables by hitting our sticks. And learning your syllables is gonna help you to be a better reader and a better speller. So let's work on our, syllab our syllables for all of those amazing creatures that we saw in the book. So the first letter is A. So get your sticks ready. Here we go, ready? The first one is A for angelfish. Let's clap them out, ready? Angelfish. Very good, that's three syllables. We clap three times. The next one is Blue crabs, B, ready? Blue crabs, it's only two. Good job, you guys are figuring out the parts of the words, that's so good, you're doing the syllables. C is for clownfish, ready? Clownfish, two. Let's do the next one. The next letter after C is D. D is for dolphin, ready? Dolphin. Two. Good job. You know what? If you don't have sticks, you can clap them too. Sometimes we clap them in our class. 
E, E is for eel. You ready for this one? This one is very easy, ready? Eel, it's only one. There's only one part to the eel word. Are you ready? Let's do, what comes after E? F, ooh, this one's a long one, you ready? Flashlight fish, ready? Flashlight fish. Three, three syllables. The next letter is, at, what comes after F? G, grouper. Do you know what, when Miss Heather Moon is reading that story, I think I read the word wrong. It's a gargantuan grouper. That's a big, big fish. And I think I read the word wrong. Grouper, ready? Grouper. Two. You guys are so smart, I'm telling you. The next letter after G E is H, hermit crab. Are you ready? Hermit crab. Three. Very good. I. Who remembers what I was? I was the icon star. Ready? Icon star. We hit it three times. It has three syllables. J is for jellyfish. You ready? Here we go. Jellyfish. How many was that? Jellyfish. Three. Three. Three syllables. After J comes K, kelp crab. Ready? Ready? Get ready. Kelp crab. Two. What comes after K? L. Ready? There we go. L is for limpets. Limpets. Ready? Limpets. How many? Two. Two. Here, I've got a few more. M, manatees. Are you ready? This one might be a little longer. Let's see. man a -tees. Three. You guys are so smart. You guys are learning how to do syllables. Ready? N, nautilus. Ready? Nautilus. Three syllables. We've had a lot that have three. I don't think we've had any that's had more than three yet. What comes after N? O for octopus. Ready? Octopus. Three again. Three syllables in that word. Ooh, what's this one? P, porcupine fish. Let's see. Is that going to be more than three? Let's see. Porcupine fish. Fish. It was four! Porcupine fish! Yay! We finally got one with four syllables. After P comes Q. Queen crab. Ready? Queen crab. Two. So far, porcupine fish has the most. R. Rays. Are you ready? Rays. It only has one, doesn't it? Just one syllable in the word raise. S is for seahorse. You ready? Seahorse. How many was that? Seahorse. Two. Porcupine fish is one in with four. What about this one? T is for turtle. T is for turtle. Ready? Turtle. Two. Good job. You guys are getting this. I'm so proud of you. U is for urchin. Ready? Here we go. Urchin. Two. Porcupine fish is winning. It's got four. V. Violet snail. Ready? Violet snail. Three. Good job. What comes after V? V. W is for whale. Ready? Here we go. Whale. Only one. A whale is so big and it only has one syllable. X. Oh, here's that word, Miss Heather. I've got, I don't know if I said it right last, last time. Let's see. Xiphosurin. Ready? Xi. Foss er un. Zy foss er. It had four! Just like porcupine fish. 
Y. We're almost done with our alphabet. Y is for yellowfin tuna. Ready? Yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin tuna. Wait a second. Yellowfin tuna. That was five. Five for yellowfin tuna. Five syllables. And the last one is zebra fish. Are you ready? Zebra fish. Zebra fish. Three. Great job. We did the whole alphabet. The whole alphabet. You know what? Before we get ready to do our art project, I think we should sing the alphabet. What do you think? Because we just did every letter in the alphabet. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I never will forget how to sing my alphabet. That was fun. You guys did fantastic. Give yourself a firework. Great job. I'm going to go get all the stuff ready for us to make an awesome ocean art project. I'll be back. I'm going to go get ready. I got all my stuff ready. I cannot wait to do this. We are going to make our very own ocean. Pretty cool, huh? Let's make our own ocean. You're gonna need, I just got um, a piece of cardboard, some foil, some paint, some glitter if you have it. Look at these cool Q-tips. I got these crafting Q-tips that we're gonna paint with. I grabbed a few pieces of colored paper. I'll show you what we're gonna use that for. And I got some glue and some scissors and a marker. If you need to remember all the things that you need in here, you can look at wqlnpbs.org and it's right under the learning at home page. But, and remember, I think it's important to remember this. When you are doing one of these art projects, you can do it however you want. If you don't have all this stuff, it doesn't matter because when you're an artist, you can do whatever you want and make it look however you want. That's what's so cool about it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I've got my cardboard and I'm going to cover it with foil, okay? We're gonna paint on foil. Have you ever done that before? We've done that in my class before and the kids think, the kids think that it's really, really fun because it feels a little bit different to paint on, put your paint on some foil. So look at, we're gonna do this and like wrap it like a present, okay? And I'm just gonna wrap the foil around the cardboard. I'll show you what it looks like here, hold on. We're gonna wrap it around so that it covers the whole front. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? Now just so that you guys can see it better, I am gonna put some tape up here on my board so that I can hang this up because this is kind of heavy so I got some have good tape so that you guys can see what Miss Heather's doing because it's so fun to watch art when you can see it, right? All right, so we got some tape up here. I'm gonna put that up here in just a minute. But first, I wanna show you, I'm going to Turn this over, okay? And I'm just gonna drip some paint on here. I've got green, you can use whatever colors you want. I've got a little bit of green, okay? I grabbed some yellow, because sometimes, I was looking to see, a little while ago there was some beautiful water and it had kind of some yellow um, coral in it. And I'm gonna grab blue, okay? There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can swirl it around, you can put as much as you want. You can add more later if you want to. But then I'm gonna take my uh, Q-tip and this is the cool part that my kids love. I'm just going to um, paint all around 
You can use your hands if you want. Some of the kids in my class love to use their hands to paint because it feels so good. But you can move it around and it's gonna start looking like a little bit of water. You can mix your colors together. You can add more paint. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. And you know what, it feels pretty cool. It's so smooth. And the paint on the foil feels kind of funny. The kids in my class said that it feels slippery. And you know what, they're right. It does feel kind of slippery. So I'm moving this paint all around. Is it starting to look like water? I think it is. So we're gonna move it all around. I maybe could have added some extra, but I think we're just gonna keep it like that for now. Okay? So here it is. Now before I hang it up, I'm gonna do something else. I think it's pretty cool to add glitter because it makes the water look sparkly. And I have some silver glitter. I have gold. If you don't have glitter, you don't have to do this. But if you have it, it's just kind of fun to add it to make your, your painting sparkly. Look, I even have a little green. I don't know if the green will show up. Let's see. It does. So here we go. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Okay. And we're gonna pretend like this is our ocean. Look how beautiful that is. Let's see if it's sticking. Yep. Okay. Now, we have three, I got green and orange and yellow. And if you look, I already drew a little fish on there. Isn't he so cute? You can make it however you want. I'm going to make mine all the same, so I'm going to put all of my papers together. See how I'm keeping them all together? Just like that. And I'm going to cut my fish out. And if I keep all my paper together, it will cut three of them out, because I have three colors here. So see? I always tell my students to pretend like this is the car and the line on here is the road and you have to try and stay on the road. Take your time. And you know what? If you need help from a grown-up, you can get help from a grown-up. But cutting is a great fine motor skill that gets your hands nice and strong and you'll be a better writer with stronger fingers. That's true. But if you need a grown-up's help, that's okay too. All right, so look at I have one green fish, one orange fish, and one yellow fish. Look at I'm going to now use my marker. Here it is. You can use a crayon or a pencil, whatever you have. And I'm going to give him a cute little face. So see, I gave him an eye and a little smile. I need to do it on my yellow one too. And a smile, here's his, see? And I need to make a little face on my orange one. Oh no, Miss Heather's making a mess on her board. Hey, that's what happens when you're doing art. Sometimes you make a mess, right? So now, here I have my beautiful ocean, right? With glitter on it. And I'm going to add, now if you want to let this dry before you add your fish, it's probably a good idea, but I want you guys to have a chance to see what it looks like and I want to do it with you. So I'm just going to put it right here. So I'm going to add a fish. There's the yellow fish. And I'm going to add an orange fish in my ocean. And what do, which one do I have left? What color? I have a green one left. Isn't that beautiful? And you can add more glitter, you can add more fish. Oh my gosh, there were so many things that we talked about in that book today. You can add starfish, you could cut out a star, you could do a whale, you can do whatever you want and you can make your own ocean scene. Isn't that beautiful? And you know what? And it's really cool to be able to paint on foil. 
I, would, I hope you give it a try because it's really fun and it's something different. And you know what? Again, we didn't use paintbrushes. We used Q-tips. If you don't have Q-tips, you can use a paintbrush. You can use your fingers. You can use whatever you have. I hope you get a chance to give it a try. Hi, guys. I got my mess all cleaned up. That was a pretty cool art project, wasn't it? I know it was. You want to do it too, don't you? We'll do it later, okay? You and I will make one together. We had so much fun today. I loved the story we read today, A Swim Through the Sea, and it went through the whole alphabet and showed us something for every letter in the alphabet that you could find in the sea. That was so, so amazing. Then we did syllables. Did you know that? Do you think you want me to do your name? Okay, let's do Twiggle. Let's do Twiggle's name. Twiggle, if you can clap it, okay? Okay, are you ready? Twiggle. How many? Two. He has two. How about Miss Heather? Miss Heather. I have three. Very good. Let's do Ocean. Let's do one more. You want to do Ocean? Okay, ready? Ocean. Two. It's been so great. So great talking about the ocean. Actually, you know what? The ocean is one of my very favorite places. I love the ocean. I do. I do. It has been so much fun with you today. And I just hope that you keep reading and you keep learning and you keep watching WQLM PBS where learning comes to life. I hope you guys have a great week. It was great to see you. Till we see you next time. Bye.